one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is an absolutely beautiful 2001 Lexus LS430. I swear, every night I start a video, here comes the choppers, exactly at that exact moment. I just did the pictures, it could have came then. Beautiful car, great shape. I've been driving this around and it drives absolutely fantabulous, if I do say so myself. It's got the Vogue top. Kind of rare to see on a Lexus. More of a Cadillac type item. But right at that era where it's just kind of cool to see on it. Why does it seem like this car should be from Florida? I do not know. But it's here, it's for sale. If you're looking for a clean, well-maintained Lexus, stop it and call me. 406-546-8748. It's going to be the exterior review. I'll show you any dings, dents, scratches, stuff like that. There's 50 to 60 pictures on oneownercarguide.com. Make sure to subscribe wherever this video is on YouTube. I do all kinds of videos, and there's all kinds of car videos on here. Here's underneath. It's in great shape. Everything's clean. It's not rusty or anything. California car. Gold package. Yeah, buddy. As far as paint goes, I don't know anything to complain about. It's in great shape. There's a little chip here. I'm sure you can find a small chip here or there if you really look. Honestly, it's a blinding white pearl, man. It just shines back at you. Um, the last dozen cars I have got, it's been so hard to find any damage, but there's little chippy dings right here. A little chip there. Looks like you kind of touched it up a little. But there's no real ding dings. Um, nothing's really dinged where it shows and it makes it look weird from afar. Um, there might be a little something I don't see. Little scuff marks and wear marks on this. It's kind of starting to fray a little bit along certain areas. Um, and up here, just a tad, a guy could put some silicone there or something to keep it a little bit, but it's in great shape. It's getting thin around there though, and right in there a little bit. Right in here you can see a little wear, I guess you'd say. Um, but it's in good shape. Uh, not torn up or poked holes in it or nothing like that anywhere. This top's good. Um, I like the button down snaps on it or whatever with the chrome Vogue strip going around it. That's just cool. I don't care who you are, that's cool. The gold package, starting to get some wear on the logos and such, just from, you know, age. A little scratch mark or dent mark or something, a couple of them right in there. Uh, nothing really to write home about as far as like damage on the body. It's just clean as can be. God, there's got to be. I'm just not seeing dings. Just not seeing them. I'm sure there's something that I missed. Lights and everything. Real. Nothing's all busted up or cracked. No water condensation. The car's in good shape. Man! Just cannot see anything. A little chip here. A little mark there. That's it. The cladding's in good shape. The wheels. The wheels are in great shape. It's starting to get a little couple chippage around the chrome right there. Uh, Mitchell is. And God, I'll bet you there's 50% tread in the front, but there's a little bit of wear on the side of that one. Little kitties all over the side of this one. These are new premises. They just put these on here, I think. Yeah, these are pretty damn new on the back. Um, let's make sure that we got a set. You know what? Yeah. This one is not as new as the other one, maybe? Still 60, 70% tread. And this is the other new one, I think. Newer. I'll tell you what, it's a dang good set. These two have little titties over the side. That one in the back rear. Um, little curb rash there. The wheels are overall in really good shape. You just do take on certain little things over time. That's factory. And all the panels match up. The car is just, it's a clean car. Um, and it drives and runs smooth. I'll take you around for a test drive. Once again, my name is Nathan. It's 406-546-8748. Um, as far as problems, issues. <laughs> I've been driving this thing back and forth to LA. Ain't got no problems. Let's go for a ride. Ah, uh, key. It's got the alarm and everything. It opens the trunk. Odd key. A little odd the way they cut them and they're not really like an old standardized key. Um, all the systems and everything check out. Nice digital dash. Five speed overdrive transmission. Um, this is gonna be a little bit too 
loud with the AC on, but it's ice cold and it's hot out. So I will be having the AC on and you're going to have to, you're going to have to deal is what you're going to have to do. Over there I've got all kinds of cars that you see, two classic Mercedes, old Cadillacs and tra oh man, there are all kinds of stuff. I've got close to 100 cars around, probably about 40 on my site. Check that out at oneownercarguy.com. And as far as the test drive goes, um, it shifts like it should. 117, 955. So let's just figure 118.5 because I'll probably put four or five hundred more miles on it. I enjoy driving this car um, and the luxury and sportiness and power and just everything about it that it affords me for the super, super low price of what these fully depreciated cars go for. Fully depreciated? Well, sure. If you get anything 80 to 120, they're not going to be getting much lower. They are kind of where they are. And I'll tell you what, if you want to get on something, there you go, right up to speed limit, just like now. Just keep it. Don't want to hit the RDA bomb, but I wanted to show you what it does, and it does. I'm gonna check that. I got texts coming in like crazy. And then I'm going to see what's up. Okay. This is going cornering. For a V8 sedan, oops. for a coupe, this thing corners like there ain't no tomorrow. It's nice. Ain't no tomorrow? Why do I like that saying? I don't know. I use it like there ain't no tomorrow. <laughs> I know, cornball stuff. It just gets a little drab or whatever, just not saying nothing. I don't know what to do. So I talk about just random stuff. Check out my videos, over 5,000 of them on here. Wow in some form or another, you can find them on there. Subscribe, all kinds of weekly videos and such. And I'm gonna answer a text and clip this on in a second. Okay, on the road again. If there's enough room for him to go, I must be able to go. Okay, I'm gonna get on it a bit for you. You know, the only thing I feel this car will need at some point is likely shocks, uh, struts, whatever they may be on this model. Um, it's not that they're bad, just sometimes when you hit a bump and your wheels turn, you get a little bit of a clunk or something. Clunk. There. Oh, you hit a pothole. It's just a little bit too much from what you should be hearing in Lexus, in my opinion. And I'm a Mercedes fan, so what do I know anyways? But that's my feeling on it. Other than that, um, fluids, everything's good, doesn't use any fluids, it doesn't leak all over the place. Just a nice clean car with plenty of power. Now, can you tell that I'm really, really just proud of that power? Here's a See, there you go, it's a good bump. You really don't get a clunk, you just get a, a bump. But, okay, so if you can't tell, I'm very, very into the power of this car. The sportiness and the luxury of it, it's not as sporty as a 740 or an S500 in my opinion, but it's pretty darn sporty and it's reliable. That's, 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 that's what it, it's reliable. That's the one thing you get with these cars that you don't get with some of the other German um, Euro auto manufacturers and stuff. It's just the stuff does have a little bit more electrical issues and stuff with a Beamer or a Mercedes than does a Lexus. I'm a Mercedes fan. Don't say that about my Mercedes. But there's a Beamer in the same year, all broken down because of sensors and all kinds of stuff. Um, good car, cheap, and I'll make you a smoking deal on it. But when it comes to terms of reliability and what you're using, and these Lexuses, they got every option. They got all the, oh, I the Vogue pop on this one, I'm telling you. I got all kinds of cars. If there's anything you're looking for, you can give me a call anytime, 406-546-8748. Name's Nathan, another Lexus right here, LS400. Um, I've got a gold, you can see the back of the uh, 93 LS400 right there, next to a W124. Got an SL500, Fiat. Man, we got all kinds of stuff. I got an Elante convertible right here. Another SL, old 280 SE, another 220 S. Man, we got cars, but we got this Lexus. So Lexus is for sale. Make sure to subscribe. Daily videos. If you don't see the video of the one, I just did a video of that yesterday. If you don't see the video of the one you're thinking and looking at on the here, you can call me. You can do whatever. But check out the website oneownercarguy.com. Subscribe on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Oneownercarguy.com. And this is a beautiful 2001 Lexus LS430. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.